Hello, buddy, and welcome back to the All Right Podcast. Remember, it's not the best podcast, but it's not the worst podcast. It's just an All Right Podcast. Guys, we're back with another episode and another good episode of that. Now, I have a guest here. Now, before I get into the guest and ask him to introduce himself, um, please go check out all the social medias as an Instagram and so like that down below uh, if you want any updates for the likes of myself or when podcasts are coming out or if I have any guests coming on. Now, we're getting into the guest, Shanisi. Hello, how's it going? What's up? I'm good and yourself, Anto. Good, man, good. Right, so for the people that don't know you, give a bit about yourself, yes. a introduction. Um, so, yeah, so my name is Shanisi. Um, I'm 25 years old. I used to live in Dublin. That's how I he, um, me and him went to the same school mm-hmm. and I am actually a, you know, content creator on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, mm-hmm. and just trying to buy my mama a house. That's my slogan Jeez. for my YouTube, just trying to buy my mama a house, you know, yeah. and it's amazing to be here actually, because I've been watching your videos and I'm like, I want to be on this podcast and here I am. So I'm excited actually. <laughs> That's good. Um, yeah. So far, uh, Shanice said that we actually met in skill. We, uh, we used to go to the same skill and uh, I think the way I met him was because I was mad in the fucking dancing and shit like that as well. And what the oh, fuck? Yes. The likes of that. I remember we used to fucking <laughs> gobshirt sitting in the hall trying to dance. Uh, well, you could. I was fucking <laughs> gobshirt trying to dance. Uh, no, you uh, weren't. Uh, you should see wait, me trying to on, dance now, on. man. Wait it minute, is shocking. Minute, it is shocking. Now, Anto, don't lie. Don't lie. Who was the best Michael Jackson dancer between me and you? Was you, man? No, it was yeah, not. Fucking it lie. was not. That was you a lie. won. You won the talent show because you were dancing yeah. the whole Michael Jackson dance. Yeah. Everybody, Anto can dance Michael Jackson. The king you of see pop. Me now, man. Like nobody. I'm else. actually so rusty. I I don't fucking. I'm so rusty. I was there listening. I'm actually saying that I'm listening to Michael Jackson man the past like week or week or two in my house. We walking around clean and trying to fucking do moves now. Um, <laughs> but for yeah, for the likes of that, I did mention uh, that story. I think twice already on this podcast where um, there was a talent show and we entered it and um, yeah, we forcing it and it was actually mad. It was crazy. Um, but you also done it as well, didn't you? You were in that talent show as well. You were in a group. Yeah, I was. Yeah, and the likes yeah, of that, I was so with I was, my. I was nervous. <laughs> For that. <laughs> nah, but you were like really, really good. I remember you were we were at the back in the changing rooms. I remember, and you had like that MJ glittered onto your jacket. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do Michael Jackson. Da da da. And you were like, oh my god, you're gonna be so amazing. And then afterwards, yeah. after our performance, you were like, oh my god, I don't know if I can beat you. Yeah. And then you went on that stage, and you absolutely killed it. And I was like. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I I remember. I was like, shit. I, I just kept, I fucking, I just, I remember, man. I remember I just got up on stage and I started dancing and the song came out. I think it was Smooth Criminal. Um, I think it was. Um, or Billy Jean. I'm not, I can't remember. Billy Jean. Billy Jean. It was, Jean, Billie Jean, it was yeah. isn't it? Because that's when he, because Michael Jackson, when Michael Jackson ever done the, his first ever moonwalk on stage, it was Billy Jean. So yeah. that's why I done it. I was like, yeah. Wait, what song can I do that? Um, but I don't like that. <laughs> but um, yeah, man. So we, we used to fucking... I'd say like hang out a bit in school and the likes of that. And also, if you don't remember, um, for the people that um, watch these podcasts regularly, I made a series called Dead or Alive and I needed um, people in it. And I remember for the first ever time uh, trying to do it, I got you to play the main character, Kevin. Do you remember that? Oh, I remember that. I forget about that. And I Marcus remember. and all wow. was there and Daniel, uh, Daniel as well. I'm not going to mention the second name just in case, but that was an experience <laughs> in itself, man, because that was that the was, first time I've ever done anything like that. Yeah, but that was a, a lot of fun, though. Like, yeah. literally, we, got, we gained experience from it, but unfortunately, you know, I discontinued it. Mm. I, I don't know what happened, actually, but mm. something from my point, anyways, I just disappeared. Yeah. I don't know what happened, mm. but it was fun. And it was fun yeah, what well, I can remember from the owner now. I remember we meet, we were meeting in the park or we'd have to sit in a bench and it was just, it was, uh, yeah, yeah I, I remember doing that. But here, you said as well, right? You just said there that you discontinued like that. And for a second, I was like, what, doing acting altogether? Because you, you, um, yes, you make YouTube videos now. And I, I do want to talk about that and stuff like that as well. But I also want to talk about your TikToks um, because um, I want to ask your opinion on that platform. What's your opinion on the platform itself? Um, the platform itself, TikTok is pretty, it's fun. You know, um, just to let out your crazy side, you know, just be who you want to be. Mm. Um, but the only bad thing is, like, you know, if you gain followers, you will never get paid. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah. it's um, but like it's it's pretty good. But then you have some people, you know, that just use it and abuse it, and mm. the imagery on TikTok is not exactly positive. 
No. Um, because you have to be a certain standards to become kind of mm. a big name or certain followers. So it's mm. kind of I seen, but, I, I seen but, like, um, yeah, a video you done and it was you. It was like a green screen and it was like the voiceover and it's like, right, I have that much but I have that much followers but that much likes. And it's like yeah. the joke was, I'm ugly but I'm funny. Like I saw that yeah. this morning. I actually seen that this morning, and uh, yeah. I thought it was very funny. But your your videos, man, from when you started off doing them, they were just like normal videos. Like you, you just watch people trying to make a video. But now you put so much more effort into it. You can see that with the likes of the text and the type, uh, the text when it has to come in the the music as well, and even um, lip syncing it to a T. You're very 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 good at it. So is is that something you're like consistently like you? I'd say you do one a day. Is it you do one? You try to do one a day. Is it? Um, yeah, literally, like I just try to do the TikToks because right now I'm in the mood, in the mode of where I'm like, I want to become an influencer, so I need to kind of use all the platforms and take it seriously. Um, so that's the reason why I started doing like TikTok, like more, act, like I love acting, so I started doing acting TikToks, um, doing like little funny skits and just learning the ins and outs of it, just in case you know you never know there's a possibility of succeeding in it you know mm. you need to take the bread wherever it comes from you know yeah, exactly how it is yeah and who are the <laughs> people that will kind of influence you on doing them kind of tiktoks because everybody gets influenced by someone so for the likes of yourself um who who is it that you kind of look at or you always follow and you always watch their videos and you go maybe i get an idea from that or maybe i can do something like that but put me on little twist on it yeah um different people to be honest like th- there's mm. some guy called isaiah and then there's a girl called RBNC. I don't even know her real name, but like, you know, just their tag names. I don't know. Yeah. And um, actually, there are some videos that I saw of yours, and I was like, I want to do it too. But I recorded it, but it, well, it didn't work. It wasn't no. funny. It's, it's hard to find <laughs> them kind of videos, isn't it? The, the, the type of people I watch is, uh, I think her name is Shauna the Sheep. She's very good. Um, mm-hmm. And then there's this fella called Jamesy Lad. But there's one person, and he's literally, he has 22 million now on TikTok. Uh, and mm-hmm. I think you agree with me as well. And um, a lot of people like his videos. A lot of people are sharing his videos. And that's fucking Jason Derulo. Jason Derulo is fucking <laughs> insane when he's fucking doing it. Did you see? I saw the one where he fucking uh, he's out in his balcony and out of nowhere he goes, "I don't like the color of the sky." And he'll come in and he'll fucking grab this yoke and he'll throw it in the hall. I go and like a shot, stranger yeah. things kind of thing. Or, he's really fucking I'll good at it. Yeah. He's really, but he, yeah. but he does have that team behind him. Yeah, the likes of yourself, um, you'd be different because it's you're doing it on your own. Do you get me? He probably exactly, has a team yeah. behind him and they're like, right, what we do this day and they schedule what he has to do. And so I'm pretty sure he makes up his own days, ideas as well, but I guarantee he has a team behind him to see what's trending and what would be good and what would get reactions, you get me? So that's the kind of difference exactly, between yeah. the likes yourself and the likes of him as well is that exactly, um, yeah. you're, you're literally starting from the bottom up. You know, he already has a fucking following and then like the same as uh, Sean of the Sheep, she fucking, she started at the bottom as well and that Jamesy lad that I watch, he's, they're just weird mm-hmm. they're just weird characters uh and uh but they're, they're very funny they're very relatable uh for the likes yeah. of that um but <laughs> for the likes of your youtube as well um you said yeah as you said your slogan is i want to buy me my house so yeah. that's that's what's kind of the, that's what's keeping you motivated to keep going with the youtube yeah. and, and do you want to explain to people what your youtube channel is about honestly at this very moment i don't know anymore what my youtube channel is mm-hmm. about it used to be um a reaction channel mm-hmm. but then um you you would understand you know you do something mm-hmm. you don't feel it like you know it's not like yeah. you're passionate that's something that you really wanted to do mm-hmm. so then you start switching it up so that's the reason why i started switching it up just be like um more me show my personalities to recently i uploaded a video mm-hmm. of me making pizza mm-hmm. um just like things where people can just relate to so mm-hmm. if you guys want to see some crazy stuff random things maybe nights out with drunk people i don't know yeah you know just come at me and, and yeah it's just like but it's very hard as well to get like the views and the subscribers as well it's yeah. like very hard very hard wow. and especially now that ev- everybody's doing it man everybody's fucking doing it so i tell you was <laughs> yeah. when we start off you there's there's a video that a fellow uploaded uh one of the first ever videos and he takes a video of an elephant shitting or something and 
it gets fucking hundreds of millions of views. And that's how easy it was back then. But now that everybody's doing it, everybody has their own, their, you know, their own style and create. And I, I understand that you're saying that I've done reaction videos and now I'm kind of like going away from that. And you do vlogging videos as well. I've seen vlogs. Yeah, you're, you're doing the uh, cooking with me, but that's good as well because you're showing people like literally a normal day, a normal life, and it feels like they're getting more of it. You get me? They're getting more of yourself. Yeah. Any content, uh, any content that you can produce and literally just put out there, it's is good fucking content because them fans that like you for you, they'll watch it. You get me? You don't want fucking yeah. people just coming there because I don't mind people doing giveaways. I tried it myself and it didn't fucking work at all. Um. <laughs> And I didn't like I didn't like it. Um and um I know there's channels out there that only get subscribers because they're doing giveaways. Yeah, giveaways, yeah. They don't give a fuck about that person. They don't they don't care what that person does or um what is um what videos he does. It's just oh I might win an iPhone, I might win a PlayStation, I might win this and I might win that. You get me the only stay there yeah. that and then they go or they won't watch it. Um so mm-hmm. I, I do like that. Um I do like that you're you're consistent as well and do you, for the likes of yourself, um, are you planning on doing uh, a lot more vlogging? Or you? I know it's hard now at this time and fucking what's happening now. But once this is <laughs> over, are you gonna are you gonna be planning to go more places and do more vlogs? Yeah, definitely. Um, that's like one of the passions because um, I'm literally like my life is pretty interesting when mm-hmm. there's no quarantine. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I would like to just like record my life every single day or like every single weekend, the way I'm with my friends, hanging out, different experiences, me traveling and stuff. And like, you know, it'd be mm-hmm. great to do that. So hopefully when this quarantine is over, I can just like go out and just travel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And where, where, where were some of the places that you go for traveling? Like, is it, is it abroad itself, is it? Like, or would it be in the, the country itself? Like, what's, where, where would you like to go? What would you like to do? Like, for, um, I was thinking like doing like little videos of me going like to different UK cities or um, even going to Ireland and just going like to different Ireland cities, you know, even the smaller countryside, um, just to show people like different experiences where you can get even going, you know, abroad, going to like, let's say Italy and going to China, but not like just the city, but more like the countryside. Yeah. You see like the most how the people live on a daily basis instead of seeing the big glorious thing. So that's what like I like to record definitely. Yeah. They're interesting nice. to watch, man. They're interesting to watch. And it is it is all up to the person that keep you interested and keep you motivated to watch them videos. And I think you are. I'm not okay, saying yeah. this because we're doing the podcast. I'm dead honest I'd say it to you when we're off recording. You are an interesting guy and you, the fucking I know that you can keep people watching entertained. Do you get me? I, I, I know yeah, for thank a fact you, you can. Um, but for likes yourself, you said you'd come back to Ireland. Now, I, d- I don't know, but uh, where, where do you live now? Where, where are you living now? Um, right now, I live in the UK, Birmingham. Oh, Jesus. Birmingham, just how's that? working. It's pretty good. Like, you know, I miss Ireland, though. Like, I do miss yeah. it a lot. Like, yeah. the people over there are way cooler. But, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what, what's it like, but, uh, what's it like um, if you don't mind me asking, uh, when did you decide to go over there and move over there? And um, that was like about two years ago. Um, I decided like ages ago already um, that I wanted to move because, you know, I knew almost, not I knew everybody, but like I, I see the same faces all the time. Mm. And I was like, you know what? I need like a little switch. Um, I need like a faster paced life because everything felt like a routine. So mm. I was like, if I just move and go to like to the UK, It'd be like a different environment, different people, mm. and I would have to change my routine dr- dramatically. So, mm. and I did. Mm. It's pretty cool. It's pretty yeah. awesome, you know. Like that's very that's fucking cool. that's very brave to do, man. Because I I literally only moved out of my ma's house a year ago, over a year ago, and it's fifteen minutes mm-hmm. away from my ma's house. So that's it's good, <laughs> but it's not is what you're doing because what you're doing is very fucking. It's very scary to do. And did you go there by yourself? Have you moved there by yourself? Yeah, well, also, but well, my girlfriend came as well, so. Oh, that's good then. At least you have company there as well, and uh, you're not know. just there on your own as well. And um, yeah, yeah. I, I, I do want to. I should have asked this all at the start, but it's all right. I'll go back and forward. Um, I want, I want people to know more about yourself, um, and your background. Um, and we did say before the podcast, if there's anything you don't want to say, just let me know, and I don't mind at all. Um, but I want to go oh, back to like early years and who you are and what's the story like that as well. So please give us a bit of a background yeah. about yourself um, 
from from Bert upwards upwards as well. <laughs> um so um my parents are you know black of course mm -hmm. and they were born in Africa and they mm -hmm. moved they met in Germany and then they created my sister and myself lovely yeah. um so I'm a German actually mm -hmm. I still do speak German fluently mm -hmm. um and I lived in Germany Mainz in particular till I was like 12 years old 13 years old then we moved over here to Ireland um before I moved to Ireland I was playing football uh, for Mainz and you know we was able to play like two matches for Germany which was great mm -hmm. you know as a teen to go through that and my dream was to be a footballer until I moved to Ireland mm -hmm. and I don't know I stopped playing football but then I gained a total different interest than when I started joining the what was it at the theater club, not theater club, acting club, whatever, in school, in St. Kevin's, which was brilliant. And then I started getting the interest in acting, um, worked with Anthony on some things. And then also then started doing like things on the side, just like um, little videos, acting videos on my sister, and which then formed me being a creator into the future now. Um, I'm a, also a three-time university dropout so i'm a, i'm a two time i'm one more and, like, <laughs> one and why is it's it that okay. you um, why is it that you went to study um the first time first time i went to study architectural technology the second time i studied social media marketing and then the third time i studied business and marketing management but i hated all of them because i wanted to do something with media or acting or anything else but you know having african parents you know sometimes you can't really do whatever you want yeah yeah um but only recently they were kind of accepting more of the things that i want to do and mm. been more supportive of the things that i'm trying to get to so mm. that's pretty cool that's good that's good I'm, I'm glad that they they came around and they started accepting what what really does actually make you happy um and, and yeah, you know, yeah. there's all the types of this stuff and it is interesting i, I remember um when you were in Kevin's as well, uh, we used to play football as well around the back where the basketball fucking courts were and stuff. Just, uh, <laughs> that they fucking just put up out of nowhere. And we'd play football yeah. every now and again around there as well. And you were good at it as well. Um, I remember going, Jesus fucking Christ, he's good. Um, <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's, it's interesting that you had that, so from a young age, you had that goal fucking set to say, right, I'm going to play football and this is what I want to do. And then you, the minute you moved to Ireland, you, it kind of, went away do you get me because you just saw something yeah, yeah. Else that you're more interested in and from there onwards i i it's all right that for for people that go to college and then uh do it and then say do you know what this is not for me at least you fucking went and tried it do you get me it's it's not something that you're yeah, gonna look yeah. back and go oh what happens if i tried that business course and then you, you fucking you know now like do you get me you, you know you definitely know now that it, it wasn't for you and that's not what you want to do and it's like some yeah, media yeah. itself have you ever considered uh trying to do film and television or cinematography like any of that kind of stuff like going because i wanted to go back and do cinematography but um for the likes of that as well or radio i want to do mm. radio so I might go back and do radio because I think that's something I'm interested in because I like, you know, this is the reason why I do it. I like talking to people, get to, getting to know people, yeah. and backgrounds and their stories. So I'm very fascinated yeah. to uh, communication and stuff like that as well. Um, but you should like do your, that, man. For like you yourself, really would, you, would you not? Would you not? Um, Me? Would you not give it a bash? Because I, I think, from what I know of you, now I know we haven't fucking talked in years and stuff like that, but what I know from you is that uh, you are very good at, um, you're like a people's person. Do you get me? You're very good. You're always um you're always involved in everything. As you said, when it, when we're in school, um you're involved with stuff like that as well. Um is that something yeah. you considered? Um yeah, it's something that I did consider um going to drama school actually. Um learning, you know, just get my acting training, um, learning how to do maybe movies. Cause I do write scripts. I have like four stories written. Good. Um but I don't know how to shoot. I don't know how to, <laughs> I don't know any of that, you know, so. As you do, man, I, you go I'm, out and learn yourself. Go out and learn. Exactly, that's how I've yeah. done it. Just go out and fucking do it and learn. Exactly. Yeah. So that's the reason why I'm like just studying like different, um, you know, I'm learning all like the J Lucas films and I'm learning from Spike Lee and mm. 
a bunch of other um, directors and mm. Taika Waititi, yeah. <laughs> and just you know, just trying to learn how to how they're doing it, and maybe then try to implement it slowly into my YouTube videos, make like little skits, mm. and eventually be able to like make like short movies and from short movies maybe then move upwards you know that's like the dream well that's that's One good day. that i i think that's really really good and um, to be honest because you start off doing reaction videos so you're learning about the camera you're learning about how to edit and stuff like that as well that's really helpful and then you're moving on yeah. saying right you know what i just want to do vlogs so you're you're interacting more with the camera itself so you're getting used to the camera more and um, and then yeah. you're saying right i'm going to do these type of videos as well but I I swear to God, I know for a fact, I know for a fucking fact, if you done a comedy sketch, it'd be fucking brilliant. It'd be fucking <laughs> brilliant. <sketch. laughs> I fucking, I know for a fact that if you done a comedy sketch, if you sat down and wrote, wrote a fucking five minute script of a comedy sketch, it'd be fucking brilliant because you can fucking act and you do have the yeah. confidence as well. And I'd say being on your own as well, I, even, even even that you do have confidence, even being on your own, yeah, your confidence would be brought out more because just you and the camera, so you wouldn't be you wouldn't care yeah, yeah. Wouldn't care at all um, for the likes That's, of that. Because yeah. uh, I'm going to leave all your links in the description below anyway. Uh, I do with all the guests and so, but for for people that um, are going to go over and subscribe, fucking hopefully, uh, so people go bloody subscribe to them straight I away after so. this. Um, Give me 2,000 subscribers, guys, please. 2,000. Um, two thousand or a thousand, I don't mind. You know, I'm almost at a thousand. Almost nice, <laughs> nice. That's it. Keep fucking, keep buying, keep fucking. It's dedication. It's literally determination as well. You just have to keep yeah. being consistent. Also, you know that yourself. Um, but for the people that are gonna be going over and subscribing, uh, can you can you say if there's gonna be a comedy sketch sale or anything? Or? Definitely in the works. Yeah. Definitely yeah. in the yeah. works. Yeah, because you're like the third person has been asking me, and I'm yeah. like. Okay, I guarantee. If Anthony, if Anthony, if Anthony, I guarantee, if Anthony yeah. is asking me, you know, if Anthony is asking me, Mister Sketch Doer, you know, Mister, yo, you man that likes to dress funny. up fucking wigs yeah. and clothes and fucking to, exactly, yeah. Fucking <laughs> you have to, yeah, man. You have to be dedicated to it. You have to be dedicated. The to video, it. the video that I love is the one where um, I forgot you do female character's name but when she's given birth oh I yeah man myself up over that yeah one. yeah I, I had I to crack channel <laughs> my in our fucking birth uh stuff and just go for it yeah and the girl yeah, I was at with, with at the time she was right beside me and um, she oh, was really? right beside me so um i was literally i didn't give a fuck yeah you, you, that's nah. the thing man when you do shit like this you cannot care what you can't give is. a shit you can't exactly because that's where that's what's gonna help you if you do not get exactly. a fuck, that's where it helps you. Um, I haven't done sketches in ages. I'm trying so much to get back into it, but I'm just, I'm really focused on this kind of fucking thing right now, this podcast and stuff. I'm really focused into yeah. it. Yeah. But, um, I'm, but I'm you're doing really well, though. I'm not going to lie. You're yeah. doing really well. I'm getting, and you I'm, will mm. succeed in it, bro. Don't worry, man. You will. I'm just going to keep you going. It. I'm just going to keep, keep going, going and see what happens. If, if it doesn't work out, I said it before on this podcast, at least I can fucking look back and say, look what I've done anyway. And uh, mm -hmm. if I fucking ever have kids, I can say, "Look what your dad doing! Your dad dressed up in a with a wig and lipstick <laughs> on, and look how manly he is!" And look, and look at him, and that'll show them that I'm not a fuck. Yeah, he played a nanny, he played a doctor. <laughs> you know what I mean? You give birth, and so the like that. So don't nah, give a lit. fuck. Um, but if exactly. there's people, if there's people out there now that are watching this and they want to start a YouTube channel and they're they're ready for it. Um, what would you say to them, people? Like, what would you be your advice when you kind of started off and you wanted to do it? Um, don't do what I did. Do not care what anybody cares. Yeah. Like, don't care about what anybody says. Don't mm. care what anybody thinks about you. Mm. Do it because you like it and have a goal. Don't just do it just because you know you can do it just because you know it's fun. Mm. But one thing that will push you to create videos is if you have a reason why you're doing it hmm. like you have a certain goal not 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 the money it can be the money it can be the house money whatever helps. it is money helps you know buy props cameras exactly yeah. yeah exactly yeah like, you know whatever it is have a why why you want to do it and don't care about your friends don't care about your classmates hmm. don't care about anybody and just go out there create even though my first videos are shit everybody's now everybody's <laughs> 
Don't uh, feel bad. <laughs> you will think they're the best thing that ever happened that you've ever done in your life. You look back <laughs> at the six month later and go, what the fuck hey, was like, that? Uh, yeah, literally, because yeah, if I compare my videos from now till the first day, it's mm. shit. But every, you know, you get a bad video at the beginning. Mm. It's normal. Keep going, keep going. You're going to start getting improved. Um, and even though your own friends, your own colleagues may not see the potential. Yeah. They'll just say, oh, other people outside will. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. But other people will see you and say, yo, this guy's sick. I'm subscribing and I'm going to follow. So that's the way it is, you know? I, I like so, the one, I like what you just said there. I like what you said there by saying that when you used to watch your old videos compared to now, you can see a difference. I'm glad yeah. you said that because if someone's making videos and a year down the line they say, No, there's nothing different about my videos, they're doing something yeah, wrong. Definition. You you yeah. will always <laughs> fucking criticize your videos a year down the line. You can say, oh, I can do this better, I should have done that better, I should have edited this a little bit sharper, I should have fucking done this, or I should have said this, this would have been funny. Do you get me? You always, you mm -hmm. literally, people that are creators and they create down stuff, they're biggest, they're their biggest, uh, biggest critics, literally. You're the biggest critics, yeah. literally. Um, anything I fucking watch now myself, I'm like, oh shit, fucking cringe, like, <laughs> fuck the fuck. But people are laughing at it, I'm like, yeah, fucking, I should have done this better, I should have done that better. Everybody, yeah. I don't care who the fuck you are, everybody does it. Um, yeah. for the likes of that, and I, I like, um, but what you said there as well is that you said, um, don't care what anybody else thinks. So, is that what happened at you at the very start when you were making videos? You, you kind of cared what people are going to say or what people are going to think about you? Yeah, I was literally like in my head, like, oh, if I do this video, oh no, some people are going to laugh at me, or people are going to mm. think I'm weird if I do this, people are going to think this is this, this, and this then brought me to hesitate making videos sometimes i do a video one week and then i would stop for like three weeks and mm. then i do another video but now since i don't care mm. i'm posting on my instagram my snapchat my tiktoks and mm. everything like because i i don't care and if you don't care you see that your content is way better because mm. you're like you can see the difference like your energy is way different yeah. from when you cared what people think to the point where you were like, you know, fuck the police. Okay, not to fuck the police, but you know, <laughs> you get what I mean. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, when you went to that, you know, when you went to that point, like, you know, your energy is totally different. And I was doing that, but now I am like, you know, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm like, I'm hungry for success. Like, and you you're know? happy. Are you happy in yourself for? Saying that to yourself, saying "fuck it," and you went and started doing your own videos. Are you, are you happier in yourself when you're making videos than you were at the start? Yes, 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 yes. Because I'm st I'm now doing things that I like. I'm not doing things what other people may like. You know, even though yes, I have lost a few subscribers because they are into reaction videos mm. of K-pop. <laughs> I like K-pop. You know, I do, yeah. but like, I don't want to do it every single day. Every you're going to be known week, as a K-pop you know? channel. You'll not exactly you'll be known as a K-pop channel, yeah. <laughs> exactly, yeah. which I don't want. And um, so you just have to, you know, go out there and just do it, and you know, yeah, just I, do it. That's the only thing, you know. Yeah, I like, I like that. I like that um, advice. Um, right. So we do. I have another podcast uh, in literally about five ten minutes. So I went with my friend James, and um, so no problem, um, bro. We need we need to uh, we need to wrap this up. But I will want to want you back on. Um, I, so what I do is I'm trying to get a hundred different uh, guests on. Um, I think we're mm -hmm. into our sixties now, the late sixties or almost the seventy uh, episodes now. Um, but oh wow! I know it's fucking it's it's mad. Just keep fucking hustling. That's what I'm doing. I'm just gonna keep going. That's until cool, I fucking man. Keep going, man. Keep yeah. going. <laughs> But I'm, I'm don't stop. To, I won't stop. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I do want you back on um, after the hundred subscribers, and we can talk more about um, fucking different topics and stuff like that as well. Um, but yeah, no um, we're going to get into the last segment now, and everybody knows this segment now. But by now, guys, this is ghost stories. Ooh, scary. Right, so Shanisi, <laughs> I have two questions for you. One, do you believe in an afterlife or a reincarnation or something like that? And two, do you have any ghost stories you can tell us? Uh, I believe in life, afterlife, yeah. Yeah, you believe in afterlife? Life after death, you know, what, yeah. What is, what is life after death for you? Um, I'm Christian, so I believe, you know, either you go to hell or to heaven. So, okay. you know, it's either, either the highway. Yeah. 
or the low way. So, you know, I'm saying <laughs> and <laughs> wherever your heart is. <laughs> and what what could you picture if you wanted heaven to look a certain way? What would a picture what do you think it's what um everybody says that or it's full of clouds and there's like everybody that you love is around you, or is it your own special place that all your memories that happened here, your happy memories are that's your place and you're surrounded by a buddy in there? Um, I just think that heaven is more like like everybody that you loved obviously like you know i don't think there's gonna be clouds because mm. that's kind of weird yeah. <laughs> but yeah. you know it's gonna be like you know it's gonna be like earth and you know but like you are you have like your own place you know you're chilling you know mm. everything is good you're at peace you know there's no worries about money sicknesses or anything you mm. know just like peace and happiness that's what i think anyways mm. um if it happens the other way, I'm going to ask God to revive me because I don't want that. You know? yeah. I don't want anything else. <laughs> I guess. And would you, right, say if you are, you are right there, right? And you're standing right in front of God or Jesus or something like that as well, right? And you're standing there and he gives you the choice. He says, right, stay here with your loved ones and see mm-hmm. them as, as they are or go back down and live another life. Go down, live, live a life and you get to choose what life you live and go through all that again. But, you don't. You won't remember when you go back down. Oh, that's yeah. a very hard. One. Oh, because what happens, right? I I literally talk about this. So you're surrounded by everybody you love. That everybody that you yeah. love. These are my favorite people. What happens if one of them people secretly didn't fucking like you, and that they're, they're now <laughs> oh, stuck yeah. with you? They're stuck with you, <laughs> and that's their hell. And they're not allowed to say they're not. They're like they, oh. if they try to say it's like Jim Carrey in fucking um, Liar Liar, where he can liar, liar. Lie. <laughs> and, he's like, yeah. and he's like that. So he, they can't say I fucking hate it. They have to say they love it. They can't get it out. So that's their hell. And uh, like that. Oh shit! I only talk about that now. Yo, that uh, that is that is some mindfuck right there, yeah, dude. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. <laughs> I never thought about that. <laughs> Oh ah, well, if the if the person didn't like me, that's their own fault. You know, there should yeah. there should have been out straight. You know, that was I wouldn't be in hell. So exactly. it's fine. Exactly. That'd be <laughs> fucking brilliant. That would be so good. Be... Everybody that goes to hell is actually it's not hell. It's just a, it's the same place, but they just are surrounded by the people they hate. They didn't like. You know? <laughs> exactly. That's fucking brilliant. Um. But, um oh god. Yeah. Just uh. So just quickly, would you would you stay in heaven, and would you just live out in heaven going around as you said no worries no war no everything's peace or would you go back down and relive your life but you get to choose your life before you go back down so you're like like when i go i want to be fucking born into a millionaire's fucking family i want to be make sure that i'm a millionaire for the rest of my life that there's no fucking worries and stuff like that as well but or like and the likes of that but the minute you go back down everything that that's up there you don't remember it's like vanished it's it's gone Nah, I'd rather stay in heaven, man. Yeah. One life is enough, I think. Yeah, <laughs> fucking it is. Because even if I take another life, even if I take another life, let's say I, I become Jeff Bezos, mm. then you got like, you know, troubles like with the government and then you got mm. your wife divorcing you, taking half of your money and well, then, nah, dude, it's okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure people don't go up there and then he's like, so do you want to stay in heaven or do you want to go down? You can choose your life. And people are like, well, I did have a good life. So I want to see what the bad life looks like. I want to don't get a divorce and I want to see. What fucking <laughs> yeah. like, I want to experience that, you know, I don't think people are going to be like that, but we're going to get into the, <laughs> we're going to get into that uh, part now. Is there any ghost stories you can tell us anything that weird ever happened to you or anything like that? Oh, Anything free yes, that you can I had. Yes. Go on. I had um, when I was younger. I think, yeah, I was in Ireland. At the time, I was still in Ireland. Mm. Um, you know, when you had like, a weird dream, mm. like I was sleeping, I was in my bed, and then suddenly the door opens, right? Mm. My mom walks in. She gives me something to eat, like an apple or something like that. I mm. bite into the apple. I'm eating the apple, and she's still standing there. I'm like, my mom never stands there. Why is she standing there? Mm. And then suddenly, my mom, my mom, mom, walks through the door, and she's like, "What are you doing?" And I'm like, "Huh?" <laughs> I'm looking at my mom, and there's something stand. I can, I swear to God, I saw something standing in front of me, and I look up, and I couldn't see the face. And then I screamed like to the top of my, I screamed to the top of my lungs. And then my mom came to and grabbed me and shook me like this. And then like, I just woke up and I had an apple in my hand. 
Arlo. Fuck. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was the cra- no. That day, I don't. I, I still don't know what happened. I was like, I was a like, mom. You came to the door. She's like. I just came now. I was like, no, no, no. You came to the door. You gave me this apple. She's like, I didn't give you this apple. You had this apple in your hand. And I'm like, no, you gave me that apple. I just ate this apple. And she's like, no, 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 no. I didn't. I was like, mom, no, you gave me the apple. Oh, that was oh, fuck. That was probably the freakiest thing. Or the other days, like, you know, when you have like, you know, sleep paralysis, you know, you select somebody standing in the oh. corner of your room and stuff. Oh. Oh. Na 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 na. Go away. But the Apple one, the Apple one is the weirdest one ever. Like, nah, yeah, that, I don't. That's I don't know. Up. You can't explain it. Like, I know. I even tried to go to you know people who uh, tell you future and stuff. Mm. I tell them like, oh, do you know what happened to me when I was a kid? <laughs> and they're like, no, nothing, no, nope, nope. nothing. And you're like, I'm you're like, not a fucking real fortune teller. <laughs> yeah, <geez. laughs> so, yeah. What do you think about the likes of them? All them fortune tellers. Do you think they're all like? Do you think there's some that are real, or do you think it's all fake? I think summary because there's one there was twice where just for fun I was just like sitting down with somebody mm. and um she was a fortune teller and I was like hey you know what read me come on read me mm. and then she started saying so many things that are happening in my life right at this very moment mm. things that I was thinking about things that could happen mm. and things that I was planning to do mm. that I haven't told anybody yeah and I was like, how did she know? She's like, oh no, the spirits around you are saying that. And I'm like, the fuck? What? <laughs> I'm like, what? What the fuck? So it was like, kind of like, uh, it's kind of it's kind of weird. Some of them are fake, but some of them I know that fake. Yeah. That's, some that's, really it freaks me out, man. I, I don't know if I'd like to go to one because uh, I'm afraid you just go up to me and go, uh, so do you want to read me future? And she looks me dead in the eyes and she's like, I can't read your future. There's no future there. And you just die or something. Oh, imagine. Imagine. Oh, man. So paranoid. <laughs> I know this girl and her auntie and the ma and all went to see. Um, this is a fucking true story. I'm not fucking like she literally told us this. The fucking ma and all told us this. It was this girl um, and her auntie and all the friends went to see one of them fortune tellers. And it was her turn to go into the room. And she came yeah. crying. And they were like, why are you crying? Why are you crying? She goes, she can't see a future. And on, I swear to God, I swear me fucking granddad's great at anything. I know it's bad to say, but I swear. She told us that when the auntie was driving home that night, she, uh, she died in a car crash. She died no, in a car crash. Slipping away. She died in a fucking car crash. She was in a car crash and she died the same night that that few, a fortune teller told her, uh, I don't see a future. I don't see, I can't tell you a future. I don't see a future. Isn't that fucking scary isn't it her dad is freaking if freak, someone nah. said that to me i'd be in bubble wrap <sighs> and i'll just be like nah. push me like i wouldn't fucking like, <laughs> i'll bubble wrap and like push me i'll fucking hurt someone to push me oh my god oh, i would not know if somebody would say that to me i don't know i, I no actually if someone t- said to me i don't see a future i'd be like okay since you don't see a future i'm sitting right here and i'm staying here until i die but that's I the don't thing. Care. You can take a fucking stroke in the next five minutes. You can't help it. You're going to die. Like, she's not going to tell you how you're going to die. There's me saying bubble wrap and people are going to carry me around. But yeah, again, I could be in the bubble wrap so much and that it's like a heart thing. attack and they can't get to me. And then I'm like, there's too much bubble wrap on. Now he's fucked. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Everybody's got to have to pop him. Oh, fuck the hell, man. We're going off on a rant. Right, come here. I, that fucking, nah. this podcast, I was supposed to do that one with James about 10 minutes ago. This, I got too much into this. But uh, man, I just, oh, want okay. to, I just want to say thanks very much for coming on and uh, no doing problem, the podcast. Bro. I did I did want you on at some point. And the fact that you were doing YouTube videos as well and then TikTok, I was like, this is perfect. Because I want people on that are creative and they're, they're doing something, you know, and that's the likes of yourself, man. Um, so yeah. I was like, boy, this is perfect. I can get me fucking on then to it. Um, for the likes of that. No so, problem. Um, is there anything that I can put down in the comment or in the description box below that people can go check you out? Just put down my Instagram handle, you know, um, at Shanisi, that bottom line says. Um, also, just my YouTube and my TikTok as well. Both of them, Shanisi. Mm-hmm. And, you know, support your boy, like, share, comment, mm-hmm. and interact. You know, I, I reply to the comments as well. You know, mm-hmm. try to be interactive with you guys. Yeah. So. That's good. 
Well, yes. thanks very much for coming on, man. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Anto. Um, no problem. Guys, <laughs> thanks so much for watching our episode of the All Right Podcast. And guys, remember, hold on. I want you to try to repeat this after me, but you're going to say it in German because you're such a fluent. Oh, person. God. Right, so, I go, go, go. right? Sorry, right. So when I say it, you say it, right? So here we go. Okay. Um, remember, it's not the best podcast. Erinnere euch, es ist nicht das beste. Erinnere euch, es ist nicht das beste Podcast. It's not the bad. Uh, it's not the bad. It's not the worst podcast. It's not the schlechteste podcast. It's just an alright podcast. It's einfach nur ein okay podcast. Fucking hell! <laughs> well done. Well fucking done. I'm there going. What's my intro again? I'm you, tell me. Um, yeah, guys. So thanks very much for um watching this. Uh, we'll chat to you next time. Peace. Yes. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,